Miami All Access, brought to you by the Miami University Bookstore, is bursting at the seams. The new Miami All Access is coming. Come back to MURedHawks.com on Monday for all the details. Welcome to Ford Field in Detroit, Miami All Access. I'm Tim Bray. It's the Mid-American Conference Football Media Day. And standing next to me is the quarterback of the Miami Redhawks, Zach Dysart. And Zach, uh, first of all, everybody wants to know, uh, yes, you came back to hold at the uh, GoDaddy.com Bowl, but how healthy are you? Uh, I'm 100% right now. You know, the spleen uh, healed up well. You know, everything's perfect. That's a good sign in a lot of ways. How about the summer? What has been happening? Uh, the guys been getting together on your own and, and throwing and you throwing a lot to them? Yes, sir. Uh, you know, we lift every day, run every day. Then comes around 6.30. You know, we do uh, seven on seven routes, the route tree, that kind of thing. And it just brings the team together, you know, brings more team chemistry, gets you more familiar with the offense. Tell me about uh, this uh, wide receiver core. Um, yes, you've got some youth. But on the other hand, there's some veterans there, guys like Chris Givens, Andy Cruz. Um, you've got quite a mix. Yeah, you know, we're really, really uh, excited about our uh, the receivers coming back. You know, they have a lot of experience. You know, Harwell's coming back, Givens, Cruz, all those guys played a lot last year. You know, we're going to look look for a lot for them from them. Yeah, and you think about uh, this quarterback battle, as some people have talked about in the, in the fall camp. But how do you approach it with Austin? Because they're, you know, obviously both of you guys can do the job. Uh, I look at it as, as it's a good thing. Um, it brings more competition, you know, which is what you want, which is I think everybody wants. You know, you're going to get the best out of everybody. You're going to get the best out of Austin. You're going to get the best out of me during practice. We're going to give 110% at all times, and it just makes you – you know, have to try and not get complacent and that kind of thing. And overall, I'm sure you feel too that two quarterbacks is a good thing and it's a luxury in this league. Oh, for sure. I mean, Austin can do things I can't. I believe I, th I can do things he can. You know, it's a great mix between what we, what the both of us can do for our team. How about the new coaching staff? You got a new offensive coordinator. You got an offensive minded coach in Don Treadwell. Um, how do you look at it from just what the playbook will look like come uh, Missouri game? Well, how they implement it in the spring, it was a lot like our old offense, just with you know different terminology. So the more familiar we get with it, you know, the better. We're, the more we're around it, the more the coaches explain it to us, the better we're all going to get with it. Yeah, no doubt about that. And think about, too, just um, how you guys have evolved over the years. I mean, um, this group, even though you've had different coaches oh, almost every year, but they, it seems like it's helped in the long run. No, I think it has. I mean, I think it's brought our team together because it's, you know, it's us having to do it, not the coaches, because sometimes we didn't even have a coach, yeah. and it was just our team relying on each other. So that, that brought us together a lot, you know, <laughs> taught us that we could count on each other when we needed them. Let's talk a little bit about the fact that you guys are, are picked as a favorite for this league. Uh, do you look at that as pressure, or is it, okay, we have had good success, we expect to be there? Uh, I think it's just a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. You know, we, uh, we know how good we can be. We know what we can do. And we know that we have a big target on our back. I think that just motivates us mm -hmm. to work a little bit harder every day, you know, push a little bit more, push each other, that kind of thing. Talk about, too, the schedule. You've got to play a couple of non-conference games before you really get in the heat of the battle against Bowling Green mm -hmm. in that first one. Um, but uh, Missouri uh, to start things off, and then at Minnesota. Um, that could give you a good barometer, couldn't it? Yeah, you know, we're really excited to get a chance to go back up to Missouri. You know, we didn't have the greatest turnout last year. And then, you know, we're really excited at our chance to go up to Minnesota. We think that we can prove a lot of things up there and uh, just prove a lot of things to our team also. And just everybody that doubted us that thought last year was a, kind of a flu, kind of a lucky kind of thing. And, I mean, with if we can get those two games the way we want them to go, even, I mean, even if we don't win, as long as we play well and come together as a team, that's all that really matters. All right, well, certainly good luck in the season. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much. Right, quarterback Zach Dysart of the Miami Redhawks here at Football Media Day in Detroit. I'm Tim Bray, and we are on Miami All Access. And don't forget, they're busting at the seams. Log on to muredhawks.com on Monday for all the details.